matches you ever had. And that was the applause the crew of the U.S. aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt gave to their uh, captain, Brett Kozer, as he was leaving the ship for the last time. Um, this week, he wrote a letter to uh, 20 to 30 people in the leadership of the U.S. Navy um, requesting help uh, to battle the outbreak of the coronavirus on his ship. There, at the time he wrote the memo, was over 100 sailors that were infected and tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, that ship has 5,000 people on it. And he wrote this memo because it seems he felt that it was the last thing he could uh, do. Uh, because he wasn't getting the help that he needed to take care of these uh, sailors on this uh, ship and keep them from all uh, getting uh, the uh, coronavirus. In fact, he said during, in the memo, we're not at war. These sailors don't need to die. Um, he said, if we don't act now, we are failing to properly take care of our most trusted assets, our sailors. And this is true. Without uh, sailors having high morale and being healthy, a military or Navy can't uh, function. And uh, for writing this uh, letter, he was fired from being the captain of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, and that's why those sailors are cheering him when he's leaving, because they look at him as their hero, because they're now getting the help that he asked for. Um, and some of you know that I myself used to be in uh, the US Navy, and I was on an aircraft carrier as well, the USS Kitty Hawk. I was uh, stationed uh, in Japan, and I have well been on a, uh, the aircraft carrier when we were docked in Guam, like the U.S. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt is. And I know what it's like being on an aircraft carrier when there's an outbreak of a, a virus or an, a, an infection of some type. Um, I've seen people working the equipment, throwing up, you know, and, and it's very it's it's very hard to work in that uh, situation when there are people that sick around you and with the coronavirus this can be a lot worse people would have died if he wouldn't have stepped up sailors would have died and now he's been fired for this and as, as I said me being in the US Navy I realized when he made that memo he knew he was gonna send it out to 20 or 30 people not in his direct chain of command. So he, as every other person in the Navy, knew that if someone writes a letter like that and does not send it to their direct chain of command, there's probably going to be some, some shit happen for it. Um, I mean, it's, it's well known. If you go around your chain of command, you're going to have some problems. And he took that risk and he knew what was going to happen but he saved lives that's for sure he definitely saves lives because he wasn't getting the help to protect his sailors so he took the extra step to put himself in harm's way in his career in harm's way because now his, his career is over the the acting secretary of the Na navy uh, thomas moldley who, who fired him said oh he's not being kicked out of the navy he's going to be reassigned you know trying to play it out as it's not that big of a deal but the fact is a captain being fired from being the captain of an aircraft carrier his career is over He's never going to go up in ranks again, unfortunately, uh, but uh, he saved lives. I'm sure he can sleep uh, well at night uh, knowing that he did something to, say, to protect his sailors. He was in charge of those 5,000 people and he did everything he could to protect them. Um, and 
the whole situation is just a, kind of a, a cluster uh, uh, because also the president Trump was uh, asked about the situation and asked if it was a punishment for uh, the, the captain speaking out and uh, uh, voicing his opinions on uh, protecting his people and the, the sailors not getting the protection uh, that they need and Trump said oh no that's not the case what is a punishment it wasn't a punishment at all it didn't doesn't agree that it was a punishment and the fact is it was a punishment because he uh, did not uh, uh, stay in his chain of command direct chain of command but he he didn't stay in his direct chain of command because he knew that it wouldn't do anything he knew that he had to get it to more people and that's who he sent it to it's reported 20 or 30 uh, people received the memo now there's no evidence saying he's the one that leaked it to the press um, but uh, he is fired for writing that memo nonetheless so I urge you uh, have a look, do some research about this. Don't take all my word for it all. Um, but, uh, uh, and let me know, write in the comments what you think about the situation. Should he been uh, fired or not? And let me know if you like this f uh, format of, I don't know what to call it, uh, uh, couch uh, reporting. Uh, but uh, I don't usually make these uh, reports like this. So I wanted to uh, kind of uh, tell you what my uh, thoughts were on this situation because it kind of hit a little bit close to home as me being a former U.S. Navy sailor as well. Uh, so uh, write me in the comments if you have any questions and let me know if you want me to continue this format like this. And of course, uh, also check out my other reports. Right now I'm uh, in uh, Rostov, uh, Russia and I'm doing reports here on uh, the uh, coronavirus lockdown as they uh, call it uh, here as you can see there's quite a few many uh, people on the streets uh, so I'm doing a, I'm showing you a lot of information what's going on in Russia about the, with the coronavirus also uh, in the uh, Donetsk I've got my uh, team there reporting on the conflict uh, uh, there so uh, check out my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new and of course please like this video because it really helps YouTube know that people like it so they YouTube will uh, show it to more uh, people and, you know, that's how the algorithm works they need to see you uh, click like to know that people want to see this video but uh, Wish you guys all the best, and remember, this coronavirus isn't any joke. You know, if you haven't gotten your family ready for the things that might happen, stock up on food in case stores close. Just get your family ready. Don't wait till the last minute. Uh, we're uh, ready here. We're stocked up for at least a couple of months, uh, so you should do the same. Uh, don't get uh, caught out in the cold when, it, when all the food's gone, if all the food is gone. Um, and like this video, subscribe, and uh, share it across all social media. I'll see you next time.